Hey everybody, it's Dr. Riser. If you like what you see in our videos, make sure you click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos about functional medicine, nutrition, and tips on how to reclaim your health the easy way with Functional Health Center of the Carolinas. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Riser, Functional Health Center of the Carolinas. I'm here with Allison, our patient spotlight of the month. The reason we chose Allison is we had a little bit of a, uh, a conundrum as far as figuring out why she was feeling anxious, why she was feeling so stressed all the time, lack of sleep, and especially the biggest complaint she had was weight gain that was unexplainable and she couldn't get it off. And when she went to her doctors, her conventional doctors, primary care physician, uh, those types of uh, medical physicians, they really didn't have an answer for her and basically blamed it on a medication she was taking it and essentially said, you're 30, you're taking medication, that's basically all that we can do, all that can happen to you, uh, and really we have no direction as far as helping you out. So when she came to me, the first thing we had to do is obviously test things that have never been tested on her, and the two biggest tests that we did was a stool analysis and then checked her hormones, and so we were looking for cortisol issues, estrogen issues, and those are primarily the biggest reasons why females cannot lose weight and even give you, ang you know, anxiety, stressful uh, feelings and those types of things. So describe to us kind of your thought process when you first came into us. What were you thinking as, as a comparison between your doctor, how they explain things, and then coming here, what were you looking for? I was definitely looking for someone to help me. That's the biggest thing that I was lacking going to my conventional doctors. I've had health troubles over the past 10 years or so. I've seen you know, GI doctors. I had a colonoscopy when I was 19 to try and figure out GI issues that I was having. I was being treated for anxiety. You know, All these treatments gave me temporary relief, but obviously wasn't fixing the problem. And so about a year ago, I felt like all of my symptoms just all at once got really bad. I gained 20 pounds for no apparent reason. My mood swings got really bad. I felt like I was on an emotional roller coaster all the time. Very, very stressed. I made an appointment with my primary care doctor. They did some blood work. The blood work came back normal. And they said I was fine and to follow up in three to four months and let them know how I was feeling. And, you know, I know myself better than anybody. And, you know, to sit across from someone and say, I don't feel like myself, something's wrong. And for them to say, no, you're fine. You're 30 now. This is what happens when you turn 30. This is life. That was really disappointing and that was really frustrating. And so I needed something, I needed a different approach. And my mom sent me a video that Dr. Reiser had done um, on Instagram. And I started watching through some of his videos and I saw, you know, it's, it's a completely different approach. It's a lifestyle change and decided that that's how I wanted to pursue care going forward. Yeah, and I think, you know, when we have new patients come in, the, the, the key word is it's frustrating because you put your trust in the physicians and, uh, you know, when we talk about medical doctors specifically as your primary care physician, they're seeing so many patients that there's honestly not enough time to really dive into and do the testing that we do. And it's unfortunate and it's no fault of their own, but you can only get so far. So with functional medicine, what we did with her, and like I said, was a stool analysis and a test that we looked at her hormones. And with the stool analysis, obviously having GI tract problems, bowel movement issue problems, uh, and frankly, irritable bowel, if we were to categorize it, mm -hmm. we had to look at that. And once we found out you know, that she had major inflammation in her gut, she had underlying um, issues with bacterial infections, um, we had to calm that down, and we've talked about this in prior videos where you know anxiety, especially in young females, can you know be tracked down right to the gut. So that was the first thing we did was clean up the gut, and then as we got the hormone testing back, you know it relayed to us, wow, there, there's the stress, there's the feeling, you know, there's the weight issues where the, her cortisol levels were much higher than they should be under prolonged stress. So. You dive into both of those large areas and, and really honestly, they're the root causes to a lot of the things that she was talking about. So question I always ask again too, once we figure that out, was it very difficult to alter your lifestyle and change the way you eat to you know, attack and, and uh, you know, approach those things? It was not difficult. I mean, anytime you change your lifestyle, it's an adjustment, but Dr. Reiser you know, writes it out for you. His staff are available for questions. So if you have any, any questions at all, any comments, concerns, they're available all the time. So no, I would say that it was not difficult to do at oh, all. Perfect, yeah. And you know, we try to do a nice, what we call a functional lifestyle prescription, and really it's just holding the patient's hand through the process, and as long as she can follow directions, which she did an amazing job, and I always tell her this, with, we can have you do a food diary, uh, like today. I didn't even have to look at her food diary because I knew it was gonna be absolutely perfect. So uh, what would be one, piece of advice or the main piece of advice you would tell somebody, and we kind of talked about this before, 
before you come into somebody that's a functional medicine doctor, what would you want to know or what would you tell somebody that's thinking about it, feeling a certain way, not sure where to go with their health, what would you give them as far as a piece of advice? I would say that, you know, I was skeptical. Like, I wish someone had told me that, that they were skeptical too going into this process. It is different. I grew up on conventional medicine. I only thought that I would feel better if someone gave me a prescription to feel better. Someone saying, well, we're going to change your lifestyle, we're going to change the way that you eat and the way that you look at food, and we're going to supplement where you're deficient, you know, and that will help you, that to me was foreign. But after going to so many doctors and having them all say the same thing and still feeling bad, and thinking, you know, life can't be like this. Like, I shouldn't wake up every day, I'm, I am 30, but I'm still young. <laughs> I shouldn't wake up every day feeling tired and moody and not wanting to go out and do things and have fun with my friends. That, you know, that's not what life is about. My piece of advice would be to schedule an appointment, come in for a consultation, talk to Dr. Reiser, and just see if it's for you. I've learned so much through this process. I've learned how important, you know, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, what I'm eating, how I'm eating it can be in my life and I've done a 180. So I think my number one piece of advice would be to just come in and see what it's all about for yourself. Awesome. Well, thank you for being our patient spotlight thank of the you month, guys. Allison. And uh, if anybody wants to be transformed just like Allison, DM us, email us, or call us and uh, we can get started on some testing and have you guys feeling great. Thanks.